Welcome to Sonoma! Sonoma. Located just 45 miles north of San Francisco is the Sonoma Valley, the birthplace of California's wine industry. The wineries here are noted for their rustic charm and family heritage. In this vlog, we're also showcasing the many activities to do here outside of wine, including distilleries, history, cuisine pairings, abundant nature, and so much more. Let's hop on our vintage motorcycle tour and explore. Hello guys, we are in Sonoma and we are taking this really cool retro motorcycle tour called Rides by Me Sidecar Tours. <laughs> Imagine this, you guys. Go on a vintage motorcycle with some cool people showing you around the countryside in Sonoma and then you go to several different wineries or distilleries. Talk about heaven. Join us. <laughs> Going into the winery, and our guide is named Jerome and he's taking us to three really cool wineries today. It's a little wet outside, but when it rains, we still pour. And today we are at Landmark Vineyards and we're so excited. We're gonna try it, the Pinot Noir. This event space is gorgeous. We have floor to ceiling windows here. We started in 1974 as just a Chardonnay house. So Chardonnay is our flagship. The uh, original owner was Damaris Deere. She was the great, great granddaughter of John Deere. Oh my so gosh. we actually started from tractor money is where we got our fortune. After our tasting, it's time to buckle up and experience the fun on the sidecar tour with a thrilling ride through the rustic wine valley. And we are on our second tasting with VR Cohen and we're trying the fruit. We're trying a tasting here. And this is really cool because this place was owned by the manager of the Doobie Brothers. So there's a little musical connection. Cheers. Hey Mike, how's Rides by Me so far? Oh, it's so amazing. I have a pro tip for you guys if you guys want to come to the Sonoma Valley. I think you guys should hire Rides by Me so that you could get that open air Sonoma experience and leave the driving to the professionals and enjoy your beverages, enjoy your delicious food. And this winery is known for rock and roll. Wine and <laughs> olive oil. And they have wine, they have all the food here. People come here and hang out here. The fun continues as our guide Jerome takes us right through the vineyards up close and personal for a French picnic surprise that awaits up ahead. Picnic espresso rides by me. Oh my gosh, look at that! It's a real espresso! <laughs> oh, it's like a, almost a double espresso kind of style. Yeah. Nice, European ready. style. Ready. Cheers. Get that. Woo! Espresso. Espresso. Oh, portable espresso. Mm -hmm. Espresso. <laughs> so we just had our picnic lunch and Jerome brought us all kinds of delicious tapas, some of which he made himself, but he also brought delicious sandwiches and we ate right under the vines right here. And the coolest part was he pulled out an espresso machine, a portable espresso machine you guys. by the way guys if you are enjoying this video be sure to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe for more travel videos we hit the road for more adventure and we feel like celebrities as we ride around the sonoma valley in our vintage motorcycle our driver drops us off at the sonoma plaza the perfect place to walk around and explore on our own we're at Prohibition Spirits here in Sonoma. We're right off the main square and we're having such a great time. They have so many different spirits that are really amazing, including brandies, absinthe, 
limoncello. So come and join us. We're gonna try a couple things and we're gonna amaze your taste buds. Mm -hmm. And we're like a kid in a candy shop. Let's go. Woo. So we're at Prohibition. How cool is this spot? And I just got the nostalgia pairing. So it pairs with all these different nostalgic candies. You just have it drip, and it'll be so cool because you can see the color change. Yeah. For my first taste buds, because this is very high proof, yeah. I like to fill it up to here with water. Okay. Oh my god. So here we are. Mike's trying the opposite. That I'm tasting the nostalgia tasting here at the distillery. I'm gonna try this orange sot. I've never tried this before. Oh wow, that's strong. This is definitely a unique experience and totally different than the wine tasting. So if you're more into alcoholic beverages and distilleries, check this place out. Green Fairy. After all the delicious beverages, it's now time for food, and we're heading to the family-run Pizzeria, the Red Grape. We're at the Red Grape, and we're trying their thin margarita pizza right here. Look how thin that is, and we have the buffalo mozzarella. We got the sweet pea ravioli. We check into El Pueblo Inn, which is cozy and family owned. It comes with spacious rooms, complimentary breakfast, and is less than a mile from the Sonoma Plaza. Hey guys, we're at the El Pueblo Inn here in Sonoma, and we're so excited to show you guys the property. They have one of the best pools in Sonoma County. We're here on one of the rare days that it's raining. They do have a nice spa that's heated beautiful grounds out here with great trees. Welcome to the El Pueblo Inn here in Sonoma's wine country. We have two beds here and look at how rustic and cute this is. We are taking our truck up these really cute country roads. They're dotted with oak trees, and we're going to Jack London, Jack London State, Park. State Park. So we're taking the trail to Jack London's ranch. He was a noted writer and traveler, and he lived in this region in the late 1800s. He died here in 1916. I love these trees just filled with moss. So we're kind of on top of a mountain here and there's a number of trails. Entry is $10 to get into this park right here. Ah. What's behind you, Mike? Coast Redwoods. So we are inside the museum here, the Jack London Museum. It's talking about his life and all of his adventures. Look at all of his literature. It smells like old books in here. So it says that Jack London lived a life of extremes. He was raised in a working class family in Oakland and was primarily self-taught, but his adventures took him all over the world. He wrote this book, The Cruise of the Snark, and literally sailed all over the Pacific right here. You can see some of his treasures. So we just finished up at Jack London State Park and it was really cool to get some history in and learn about the author. Napa has Stevenson, but Sonoma has Jack London. Now we take a tour of a family owned distillery that is making handcrafted vodka in small batches, not from potatoes, but from organic grapes. We take a behind the scenes tour with one of the owners of the distillery, Alana Hansen, who shows us how the vodka is made and infused with organic ingredients. And we infuse it in high proof alcohol for. Oh, it smells so good. Smell that ginger. Oh. It's like they asked us to do a pepper vodka, and it took us about two years. After smelling the flavorful aromas and learning about how the vodka went from idea to production, it's time to go into the tasting room and try it ourselves. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers! We're trying habanero. <laughs> it's 
It's got those spice and lemongrass from seven different peppers. Oh my God. It's just powerful enough, but there's like this bouquet of different pepper flavors that you have and each one complements another. Um, Had to mention before, the whiskey. The whiskey. Mike, what is that delicious green chocolate truffle that you have? It's a fennel pollen truffle. Ooh. We got it with this delicious Hansen, amazing whiskey, and we're about to give it a try. Small batch whiskey has the beautiful malty aroma. Perfect with chocolate. Mm. That's heavenly. We pair it with a cheese plate that's sourced from local dairy farms and walk away with a few bottles of the cucumber vodka. So we just parked alongside Highway 12. This is the main highway that takes you through Sonoma. And we're stopping right here because we spotted this beautiful bright yellow mustard seed farm. and right now we're heading to the Mayo Family Vineyards. It's a small batch winery and they produce less than 5,000 cases a year. The Mayo Reserve Room has one of the most unique wine and cuisine pairings. It starts with the wine first and then the cuisine is paired in small tapas style, perfectly paired to each wine. In this pairing, the cuisine brings out the notes of the wine, and you're meant to sip the wine first, then taste bites of the cuisine next. Our favorite pairing was the lamb kofta with the Cabernet Sauvignon. The big bold red stood up perfectly against this dish. We are now at the Sonoma Botanical Gardens. This beautiful river right alongside the grapevines. number of different paths here. There's like a 500 elevation gain, 500 feet elevation gain, and we're heading to the prayer flags, which is at the top. We got us some umbrellas. We've got a little bit of drizzle, but it's really beautiful. Well, we made it to the top. We found the prayer flag, the very top of the botanical garden, and we have this gorgeous overlook. Can't see a lot today because it's mostly shrouded in mist, but it really feels very mythical. Feels like we're on a cloud. We have Mount Sonoma behind us. Look at all the mist rising up. Walking through the botanical garden is a unique, tranquil, and immersive experience. We see pops of color with the magnolia trees and then come across a beautiful cascading waterfall. After our nature walk, we worked up quite an appetite, so we head over to Kina's Kitchen, which is a women-owned Latin and American cuisine restaurant. I ordered the pasole verde made with bone broth and organic hominy, and Mike got the bandaria with grilled beef strips and chimichurri sauce. Tender and perfectly seasoned. So good. So we are trying mezcal tasting, and we have the lava salt and the cricket salt from Oaxaca. The mezcal menu here is truly out of this world, and the entrees to pair, including the pan-seared halibut and the surf and turf. Hey guys, welcome to Sonoma. We're here in the square. This is the main part of town, and we're surrounded by some really beautiful restaurants, cafes, boutique hotels, and this area is considered the largest Square in California. This eight acre plaza dates back to 1835 and is a dedicated National Historic Landmark. So right here I'm in the Sonoma State Historic Park and unlike other historic parks it's a scattering of buildings across the square here including the Toscano Hotel dating back from 1850 it feels like I've stepped back in time. The 
Ocean Trail here in Sonoma, California. And this is the Mission San Francisco Solano. Solano. So we are right in front of the Mission. How cool is this to have something of this historic significance right in the downtown? Look at how accessible this Mission is. And with that, we hope that you get a chance to visit Sonoma Valley very soon. The exquisite history, nature, wineries, and welcome hospitality truly make this region special. If you like information of any of the places mentioned in this vlog, visit the links in the description below and be sure to like and subscribe for more travel videos.